So, dear students, in the last session we learnt about molecularity and complex reactions along with elementary reaction. In today's session, we will learn about integrated rate equations. Before we go for integrated rate equations, we will have a concept recap. So, first of all, order of the reaction. Order of reaction is the sum of powers of concentration terms of the reactants in an experimentally determined rate equation. Also, we learned molecularity in the last session. It is a number of species of the reactants that are involved in a simultaneous collision in order to bring the reaction or in order to form the products. So, molecularity of an elementary reaction is equal to order, but for a complex reaction, the molecularity is defined for each and every step, but order is obtained from overall rate determining step of the reaction, that is the slow step of the reaction. Also, we have learnt about differential rate in the very beginning of the chapter. So, differential rate is the rate expressed in terms of change of concentration of either reactants or products with respect to time. So, in general I can write it as dc by dt with a plus or minus sign. Plus indicates the rate concentration of products increasing with time, the minus indicate the concentration of reactants decreasing with time. If I consider a reaction of type A plus 2B giving rise to products, then rate is equal to minus D of A by DT is equal to minus half of D of B by DT, where DA by DT and DB by DT is the rate of change of concentration of either A or B. So, in this session, we will learn about integrated rate equations, integrated rate equation for zero order and first order reactions and few numericals based on these equations. Before we start, I would like to remind to all students that there is a live doubt clarification session available. If you have any doubts, you can post in WhatsApp number 7259012123. I will repeat the number 7259012123. So, integrated rate equation. What exactly is this? Suppose I write an equation A plus B giving rise to products. So, rate is given by minus D of A by DT it is also equal to minus D of B by DT. In general, I can write DX by DT, where DX is a small change the concentration of the reactant or product with respect to small time interval DT. This is called as instantaneous rate. So, it is very difficult to find out instantaneous rate at every point of time. So, we have integrated rate equation which tells us the relation between the rate constant k and concentration of reactants at different intervals of time. So, this is nothing but the integrated rate equation. From the differential rate expressions, we can get integrated rate equations. So, we will just go through what exactly is that. So, this is what it says, a relation between the experimentally determined concentration of reactant at different times and the rate constant is related in the integrated rate equations. So, first we will take it for zero order reaction. What exactly is zero order reaction? As you studied earlier about order, a zero order reaction is a chemical reaction in which 
the rate is independent of concentration of the reactants. Suppose I take a general reaction of type A giving rise to product. So it is a zero order reaction. So if it is zero order reaction, I can write rate is equal to rate constant k into concentration of a to the power 0. If concentration of a to the power 0, which means it is equal to constant k. What is rate? I can write a differential rate minus T of A by dt is equal to k. So if I change the variables, I will write it as minus D of A is equal to k into dt. Now we have to integrate this expression. So on integrating, what do we get? So integral of D of A is equal to minus k integral of dt. So integral of differential is A, concentration A is equal to minus k integral of dt is t plus concentration constant of integration c. So how to determine the constant of integration c? So I can write at time t equals 0, concentration of A I can write as a naught that is the initial concentration of A. So if you substitute that this will become A naught T0 means this becomes 0 plus C. So we get C is equal to A naught. Substitute in the equation A is equal to minus KT plus A naught. So I'll take kt to this side, a to that side. So kt become positive. This is a naught minus a concentration. So k is equal to 1 by t into concentration a naught minus a. This is the integrated rate expression for zero order kinetics. We can also write in a different format if initial concentration is a mole per liter and at time t x mole per liter reacted so concentration of a 0 is a concentration of a t will be a minus x so what is k equals concentration A naught minus concentration A T by T. So this is equal to A minus of A minus X by T which is nothing but X by T. So one more way of expressing the rate constant for zero order reaction as X by T. So if I take a graphical representation, we have two equations now. So k equals x by t is 1 or I can write k equals a naught minus a t by t. So I will take t to the left hand side. So k t is equal to a naught minus a I will take AT to left and KT to the right side. So AT is equal to minus KT plus A naught. This are the form Y is equal to MX plus C. So if you plot a graph of A naught or A versus T, you get a straight line with a negative slope and slope will give you rate constant K. This is how graphically we can find out the rate constant of zero order reaction. Same thing is repeated. 
if I take a reaction of type R gives rise to P, R stands for reactant, P stands for products, rate of reaction is minus dr by dt, the differential rate is given by minus dr by dt is equal to k into r naught, sorry r to the power 0 which is nothing but k. Here in the equation we get the same thing d of r is equal to k into dt, then on integration you get r is equal to k t plus c, so at time t equals 0 r is equal to r naught and c become equal to r naught. Substituting that in the first expression, I will get r minus r naught is equal to minus k t r if you take k t is equal to r naught minus r. So, I can write k t is equal to r naught minus r. Same we take as a as the reactant, here r is taken as the reactant. So, if you plot the graph again, concentration of r versus time, r in y axis, time in x axis, you get a straight line with a negative slope and the y intercept is r naught and slope will give you k. So, the r y is equal to mx plus c format, this is y, this is mx and c. So, y intercept is initial concentration and slope I can get the rate constant of zero order reaction. So, this is an important derivation students please make a note of this, this will be asked in PU for 3 marks. So, one of the most important derivation in physical chemistry. So, I will repeat once again regarding this derivation any doubts if you are having you can post it on whatsapp number 7259012123 i'll repeat 7259012123 now let us go through integrated rate law derivation for first order reaction so, what exactly is first order reaction? A reaction in which the rate of reaction depends on first power of concentration of the reactants. That is the definition of first order reaction. Let us say I am taking a reaction of type A giving rise to product is a first order reaction. Now, if I take rate is equal to k into concentration of a to the power 1. So, what is rate here? Minus d of a by dt is equal to k into concentration of a. Same way, we will separate the variables. Minus d of a by concentration of A is equal to K into dt or I can write d of A by dt is equal to minus K into dt. So, on integrating so integral of d of A by dt is equal to minus k integral dt. So, minus d of a by sorry d of a by a oh, sorry sorry this is a this also a. So, integral of d of a by a is nothing but ln a is equal to minus k t plus constant of integration c. So, again same condition at time t equals 0 a is equal to a naught. Substituting that, so ln of a naught is equal to k into t becomes 0 plus c. So, c is equal to ln a naught. Substituting that in the first equation, what do we get? ln of concentration of A 
is equal to minus k t plus ln of a naught. So, I will take k t to the left hand side, ln a to the right hand side. So, k t become positive ln a naught minus ln a. So, k is equal to 1 by t into ln of I can write as a naught by k or k is equal to 2.303 by t ln of a naught by a. This is the integrated rate law for first order reaction kinetics. So, here k is the rate constant, t is the time, a naught is the initial concentration of a and a is initial con concentration of a at any time t. So, one more form is also available which is commonly used. The same equation I can write in the form of k is equal to 2.303 by t log of a by a minus x. So, a is initial concentration a minus x is concentration at time t. So, this is also very commonly used while solving the problems. Now, if I take the same equation k is equal to 2.303 by t log of a naught by a. So, I'll multiply k t by 2.303 is equal to log of a minus a naught minus log a. I'll take log a to left hand side. Log a equals minus k by 2.303 into t plus log not. Now, it is again of the form y is equal to m x plus c. So, if you plot a graph of log a versus time. So, if I graph I will write here. So, log a versus time we will get a negative slope. So, slope will be equal to k by 2.303. So, from slope I can write, I can get the con rate constant of the reaction and the y intercept will give me log a naught which I can find out the initial concentration of the reactant A. Same thing we are going to repeat in terms of R and P. So, consider first order reaction R gives rise to P the rate of reaction is minus d of r by dt. So, in, since it is first order reaction, the differential rate is given by minus dr by dt is equal to k into r. Rearranging dr by r is equal to k into dt. Then integrating the equation dr by r is equal to minus k into integral dt. So, dr by r is ln r is equal to minus k integral of dt is t plus constant of integration. So, at t equals t naught r is equal to r naught then substituting that in the first equation I will get c as ln r naught. Substituting this c in first equation I get k as 1 by t into ln of r naught by r converting into log we get k is equal to 2.303 by t log of r naught by r. So, students remember this is most important derivation in the entire chemistry in physical chemistry part in the second PU final examination most of the paper this question is almost a sure question. Every year they are asking this question for 4 marks derive the expression for rate constant of first order reaction. So, either zero order, first order definitely will be asked in the final examination. So, you have to be very, very thorough with this derivation. So, the same equation can also be written in exponential form. 
so if you rearrange ln of r by r naught is equal to minus kt if i take anti logarithm so r by r naught is equal to e to the power minus kt if you rearrange it r becomes equal to r naught into e to the power minus kt this is exponential form of first order reaction kinetics so here you can get simple question in cet level also giving you different forms of first order integrated rate equation asking you to select the correct one in that this can also be one of the forms so exponential form also we can write r is equal to r not into e to the power of minus kt as i told you earlier we have one more common format of this particular equation k is equal to 2.303 by t log of a by a minus x where a is the initial concentration of the reactant number of moles of the reactant a and x is the number of moles of reactant reacted at time t so a minus x becomes the concentration of reactant at time t so uh, using any of this equation we can find out the rate constant and problems will be asked on this particular rate equation so if i take graphical determination earlier we did this we'll do it once again here so we have log a by a not so a not by a is equal to Two point three zero three. Oh, one second. K. This is two point three zero three by T. So if you take this equation, so if you rearrange, K T by two point three zero three is equal to log A not minus A. log a so if you take log a to the left hand side minus k by 2.303 into t plus log of a not so if you plot a graph of log a versus time you get a straight line with negative slope and slope will be nothing but k by 2.303 is slope so same thing we already discussed this so again we are going to recap so same thing you can see here log of concentration of reactant versus time you get a straight line with a negative slope slope is k by 2.303 and y intercept gives you initial concentration of the reactant one more graph also we can plot instead of plotting log of r i can plot log of r not by r so if you rearrange the equation it becomes log of r not by r equals kt by 2.303 so this of the form y is equal to mx there is no y intercept so the line passing through the origin and positive slope so it is going to be increasing function so from this also we can get slope as k by 2.303 and y intercept will be zero so by using this integrated rate law in different formats uh, comparable with y is equal to mx plus c or y is equal to mx we can get the rate constant of the reaction <coughs> now the relation between the rate constant and the concentration of reactant at two different intervals of time so if i take the reaction rate at two different times so let us take the equation first order rate constant equation at time t1 and time t2 so at time t1 the concentration of reactant is a1 so we can write log of a1 is equal to minus kt1 plus log a0 at time t2 i can write in a same way log of a2 is equal to minus k t2 plus log a not 
if you subtract one from the other, so I can write log a2 minus log a1 is equal to log a0 a0 get cancelled minus kt2 kt2 minus of minus plus kt1 or if you write this becomes log of a2 by a1 is equal to k into t1 minus t2 or if you reverse this because t2 is a higher time than t1 if I write so log of a1 by a2 is equal to k into t2 minus t1 or k is equal to uh, 2.303 by t2 minus t1 into log of a1 by a2. So, this will be log to base e previous one. So, this is log to base 10. So, this is the expression for rate constant and concentration of reactant at two different times. So, we can find out the rate constant using this relation also. So, we will just go through the same thing once again. So, first order reaction at time t1. So, ln r1 is equal to kt1 plus ln r0 at time t2 ln r2 is equal to kt2 plus ln of r0. Here r1 and r2 are concentration of reactant at time t1 and t2. So, if you subtract one from the other ln of r1 minus ln r2 is equal to k t1 minus of minus k t2. So, ln r1 by r2 is equal to k into t2 minus t1 or log form 2.303 by t2 minus t1 into log of r1 by r2. So, if you have the reactant concentration at two different times, we can find out the rate constant using this relation. So, once again reminder, so students wish to ask for any doubts, they can post their doubts in WhatsApp, real time assistance will be given for that. So, phone number is 7259012123, I will repeat 7259012123. So, we have to work out some problems. Before we go for the problems, we will just have a formula recap. So, in zero order reactions, we derived rate constant k is equal to r naught minus r by t or also we wrote k is equal to x by t where x is the amount of reactant reacted at time t. Same way for first order reaction k is equal to 2.303 by t into log of r naught by r. Also other form is k is equal to 2.303 by t log of a by a minus x. Recently we derived the first order reaction at two different time intervals k is equal to 1 by t 2 minus t 1 into ln of r 1 by r 2. So, these three formulae we need to remember or to work out the problems. So, let us take some problems. The first example, <coughs> while studying the decomposition of N2O5, it is observed that a plot of logarithm of its partial pressure versus time is linear. What is the order of the reaction? So, if you take the graphical representation of 0 first order, in case of 0 order, we plotted a graph of concentration of the reactant versus time, it is linear, but here it says very clearly logarithm of its partial pressure. So, since it is a gaseous reaction, we have to use partial pressure in place of concentration. So, we are plotting log of p versus time. So, we are getting a linear graph. So, same way we remember we wrote just now log of concentration of A versus time is linear and slope we got is as k by 2.303. This is for first order reaction. Since the log of P versus time graph is also linear, this has to be 
first order only no other order will give linear graph for log of concentration or log of pressure with respect to time t so answer should be first order reaction so i think the concept is clear we'll go to the second problem for a zero order reaction k is given by 1 into 10 power minus 3 and a is the initial concentration that is 1 mole per dm cube and they are asking for concentration at time 10 minutes. So, you can see very clearly data you can make a note for a zero order reaction k is given by 1 into 10 power minus 3 mole per liter per second. If initial concentration is 1 mole per liter they are asking for after 10 minutes what is the concentration after 10 minutes means it has to be converted into seconds because rate constant is in seconds and time as it is in minutes. So, we will go through the solution part of this. So, first we will list out what is the given data k is 1 into 10 power minus 3 mole per liter per second and A equals 1 mole per liter. They are asking for time that is 10 minutes which is equal to 600 seconds. So, what is the formula? K equals concentration of A naught minus concentration at time T by T. So, substitute K is equal to 1 into 10 power minus 3 A naught is 1 mole per dm cube minus a t I have to find out this this is 1 divided by 600. So, if you cross multiply this becomes 0 0.6 is equal to 1 minus concentration of a at time t. So, therefore, concentration of a at time t becomes 0 0.4 mole per liter. This is the answer for the first question 0.4 mole per liter is the concentration of A at time 10 minutes or 600 seconds. So, go to the solution if you want, you can take down the solution. Okay, I hope all of you have taken down the solution part of this. So, we will go to the second question, third question. The specific reaction rate of a first order reaction. So, specific reaction rate is nothing but rate constant k. It is given as 0 0.02 per second. You can see very clearly the unit of rate constant is per time. So, per time is always for first order. The initial concentration of reactant is 2 moles per liter. You have to calculate initial rate and rate after 60 seconds. They are not asking for concentration, they are asking for the rate. So, initial rate means at 0 time. At 0 time, the concentration is 2 mole per liter and rate constant is already given as 0 0.02. So, we will go to the first solution part. <coughs> so, K is 0 0.02 per second and A is 2 mole per liter. So, we know initial rate rate is equal to K into concentration of A. So, K is 0 0.02, A is 2, it is 0 0.04 mole per liter per second. This is the answer for the first part. Very simple. Just substitute the rate constant and the concentration, multiply and get the rate at 0 time. So, the second part of the question 
demanding the rate at 60 seconds the rate after 60 seconds so now we have to find out the concentration of reactant a at 60 seconds then we can multiply that with rate constant to get the rate so to find out the rate uh, concentration at 60 seconds we have to use the rate constant expression so t is 60 second so we know k as 0 0.02 per second so k equals 2.303 by t log of a by a minus x so k is 0 0.02 2.303 by 60 log of a by a minus x. Please take down this, I will give you one minute time. <clears throat> solution for the first part and the solution for the second part. Halfway through we have gone. We have to further continue. I hope all of you have written the solution for the first part and the second part also I think you have completed till here. We will proceed further. So, if you simplify this, so log of a by a minus x becomes equal to 0 0.02 into 60 by 2.303. So, this on simplification becomes equal to 0 0.521. You can use a simple calculator and get the answer. And if I take anti log, so a by a minus x becomes equal to anti log of 0 0.521 this is equal to 3.31. So, A is 2 mole per liter by A minus x is 3.31. So, I get A minus x that is concentration of A at 60 second is 0 0.60 molar. So, now I can write K, K equals 0 0.02 rate constant k into 0 0.6. This will become 0 0.012 mole per liter per second. This is the rate at 60 seconds. So, kindly note down the solution for the second part as well. I will give you one minute time. Any doubts in the problem you can post in the WhatsApp group. The problem can be explained. So, the solution is very clear. You have any doubt you can post your doubts. Okay. So, let us go to the next problem. This answer 0 0.04 mole per liter per second first part and 0 0.012 mole per liter per second for the second part. So, we will go to the example 4. For a first order reaction A gives rise to B plus C, the concentration of A is a first order reaction given concentration of A is found to be 0 0.6 molar at 10th minute and 0 0.5 molar at 20th minute after the start of the reaction. So, from the beginning of the reaction, the uh, concentrations are 0.6 and 0.5 at 10th minute and 20th minute asking for the rate constant. So, if you remember we have derived an expression for rate constant and concentration of reactant at two different times. So, that is k is equal to 
that is k is equal to 2.303 by t2 minus t1 into log of r1 by r2 this is the expression so t2 is 20 minutes t1 is 10 minutes r1 is concentration at 10 minutes r2 is concentration at 20 minutes if you substitute k equals 2.303 by 20 minus 10 into log of 0.6 by 0.5 so this will be 2.303 by 10 log of 6 by 5 so this log of 6 by 5 2.303 by 10 so 2.303 by 10 the log of 6 by 5 if you calculate becomes 0 0.079 so k will be equal to 0 0.079 2.303 by 10 you get this as 0 0.018 since it is first order it is per minute because 10 minutes is here it's not second so it has to be in per minute so this is the solution for the fourth example problem so we are using the rate constant relation with respect to concentration of reactant at two different time intervals so using that we can get rate constant k so kindly note down the solution I will give you another one minute time for writing down. I hope all the problems what we discussed so far is clear to everyone. If you have any doubts, you can post your doubts in WhatsApp number. So this is a solution for the fourth example. So solution you can see 0 0.018 per minute is the rate constant for the reaction. Okay, what did we learn in today's session? We learnt about the integrated rate equation. We derived integrated rate law expression for rate constant for zero order and first order reactions and also we solved some of the problems on this integrated rate equations so i'll stress it once again the derivation of rate constant expression for zero order and first order is the most important part for pu it will be asked for three or four marks in the final pu examinations so make sure you learn the derivation properly and practice it regularly homework so complete the homework at the back of the lecture for the lecture 5 and lecture 6 and go through the PU question bank and solve the questions in the PU question bank 1 mark, 2 mark, 3 mark questions on this particular lecture. Thank you.